How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build this PVP arena that you see in front of you now. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with real easy to follow along instructions so you can get this build in your Ark. And for all of the building materials you will need, as well as the map cords, those will be in the description below. For the paint scheme, I'll show you that towards the end of the video. And also guys, in the description below are some links to my social media. If you do end up using this build on your arc, feel free to hit me up on one of those platforms and send me pictures of this build on your arc. But anyways guys, with all that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so before we get started, I just wanted to really quick give you a reference of how big this build actually is. So the real important part is these long sides. So for those, they are 15 normal foundations long, and then also there's six triangle foundations on each side. And then the short sides are just 17 triangle foundations long. So that should give you kind of an idea of how big this is to make sure that you have enough space to get this build done. All right, so starting off with our foundation, we're gonna go ahead and lay down a row of three stone foundations. Then we'll add another row of three right in front of those. In front of these, we're gonna add a row of five triangle stone foundations. And then we will also add a row of five here on the back. Then we're gonna come over here to the side and on this back stone foundation, we're gonna place three stone triangle foundations coming off of that. Then coming off of those, we're gonna add 15 total stone regular foundations. All right, so there you go, we have 15. Now we're gonna go ahead and place three more stone triangle foundations right here. And then we'll add three more regular foundations off of those. And then place three more in front of these ones. Then place five more stone triangle foundations in front of those and add five more here on the back. Next on this side, we're gonna continue in this line. So on this foundation right here, we're gonna start placing stone triangle foundations and we're gonna place 17 of these going across and it's gonna be kind of at an angle. So I have two so far, so I'm gonna add 15 more for 17 total. So there we go, that is 17. So now we're just gonna go ahead and add three more stone foundations sticking off of this. And then we'll add three more in front. And then we'll place the five stone triangle foundations in front and in the back. Then we'll again come over to the foundation here on the side and we're gonna place three more stone triangle foundations and then 15 more stone foundations. So there we go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add three more stone triangle foundations right here on the end. And then we'll attach three more regular foundations to those. Place three more in front of these. And then again, add five more stone triangle foundations in front and on the back. And then we'll go ahead over here to this side and we're gonna connect this tower to that tower using 17 more stone triangle foundations. So that makes up the outer perimeter of our arena. Now remember, one of these shorter sides is going to have a entryway sticking off of it, so just keep that in mind. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up these corner towers. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our pillars in to these. So we're first gonna head into this one right here, and on this outside triangle foundation, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on top of it. And then we're just gonna snap a stone dinosaur gate frame to that and fill that in with a reinforced dinosaur gate. Then we're just gonna continue to work our way around. So first, right here on this triangle foundation, we'll add another wooden fence foundation. And then on each side of that, we're gonna snap seven high stone pillars. All right, now moving over here, we're gonna add another fence foundation right here on this foundation. And then right here in the corner, we're gonna snap five high stone pillars. Next, we're gonna add another fence foundation on this triangle foundation. 
and on this corner right here we're going to place six high stone pillars now you want to make sure they're placing at this angle like this so go ahead and add five more on top of that one and then on the other side of that fence foundation we're just going to place five high stone pillars then right here on this triangle we'll place another wooden fence foundation and add a stone dinosaur gate frame and reinforce dinosaur gate on that right here we'll place another fence foundation and again on the front we're going to place five high stone pillars and on the other side we're going to place six high stone pillars then we'll place another one right here and in this corner we're going to go ahead and again add five high stone pillars and then finally, we'll place another one on this triangle right here. And on each side of that, we're again going to snap seven high stone pillars. All right, so that does it for our pillars and our gate frames on one of these corner towers. Now, we do need to do this on the other three corners as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that off camera real quick just to save some time. But if you guys do need to see it again when you're working on the other three corners, just go ahead, rewind the video back to when we started doing this one and watch it again as you're doing the other ones. All right, so this is what you should have after copying what we just did onto the other three corners. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start building these up. So first, we're going to come in here to this corner right here, and we're just going to start off by placing two high stone walls all the way around our base. Then we're going to come inside here, and on our four corners, we're going to place a stone triangle ceiling. And then we will fill in this middle portion with six stone regular ceilings. Then on the gate frame that is on the inside of our arena, so right here, we're going to add wooden railings on these three ceilings. Then in front of our other gate frame, we're going to add a wooden railing here on the inside corner, so the corner that is attached to our short wall. So one right here, and then also one right here, and then on this corner, we're going to add two high stone walls right here and right here as well. Now we're going to duplicate this on the other three towers as well. Now remember, when you get to the second level, the wooden railing is going to go on the side that has the short wall attached to it. So this corner right here and then those two corners between that short wall are going to have the wooden railing on top. And then the other corner is going to have the two stone walls. So go ahead and do this on the other three towers. I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera to save time, but just duplicate what we just did on that first tower. All right, so here is how it should look once you've done it on all four. So as you can see, those two high stone walls are on the back outside corner. So we have them over here. And then if we head over to these two, they'll be on the back outside corner on these two as well. So right there and right there. All right, so for this next step, we're only going to be building up the towers that are going to be on the side where our entrance to our arena is going to be. So I'm doing that right here. So first here on this corner right here, we're going to go ahead and add two high stone door frames. In the next spot, we're going to place two high stone walls. In this spot, we'll again add two high stone door frames and then two high stone walls again right here. Going around to the other side, we're going to start off with two high stone walls here on the front. Then we'll place two high stone door frames. And then we'll just place two high stone walls on these last two spots. Then we're going to head up top here and we're going to fill in above our stone gate frame here with five stone triangle ceilings. And we'll do this over top of the other gate frame as well here on the inside of the arena. Then we're again going to fill in this middle with stone ceilings. However, we're going to leave this spot where we have our stone walls open. So we're going to fill in the rest with stone ceilings. But again, leave that spot open because we're going to put ladders there to help us get up to this top portion. 
So now go inside here and we're just going to place a wooden ladder in front of each of these walls. So there we go. Now we're going to head over here to this other corner on the side that's going to be our entrance and we're just going to duplicate what we did on the other side on this one. All right, so now here on the other side of the arena, we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did on the other side, except for right here in this corner where we had the two high stone door frames. We're gonna replace those with two high stone walls. So right here on that corner and over here on this corner, we're gonna replace the two door frames with two high stone walls. So go ahead, we'll start off right here with our two high stone walls and then the rest is gonna be exactly the same. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and build up the final level on these four corner towers. So it doesn't really matter which tower you start on, but we're gonna head over here to the side above our two stone door frames, and we're gonna place a stone wall followed by the appropriate sloped stone wall on top. In the next spot, we'll add two stone walls and the appropriate sloped wall. Here, we'll go ahead and just add three high stone walls. On the back side, we'll again add three high stone walls on each of these. Going around here, we'll again place three high stone walls. Right here, we'll again place two high walls and the appropriate sloped wall. We'll place one wall and the appropriate sloped wall here. Now on the front, on the side that doesn't have our ladder, so right over here, we're gonna add a stone wall right here. On the side of that, we're gonna add a stone wall and the appropriate sloped wall. We'll add two walls and the appropriate sloped wall here. And then right here in this corner, we're just going to place three high stone walls. Now on the side that does have our ladder, first at the front, we're going to place another stone wall right here. A stone wall and a sloped stone wall right here. And then right here, we'll just add a wooden railing. So here is another look at what we just did for you guys. And just go ahead around and duplicate this on our other three towers. All right, so now that we've duplicated that last step on the other three towers, the next thing we're gonna do is add the roof to all of them. So first thing we're gonna do is head in here to the front of this to where we have these stone walls, and we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation underneath of this stone wall right here. And we'll go ahead and place one underneath this wall right here as well. And then we're just gonna snap two high stone pillars to each of those. Now we're gonna head in here to this back wall and place another fence foundation on top of one of these triangle ceilings. It may be hard to get the fence foundation to snap. You may have to mess around and try both ceilings until one of them works. So we'll go ahead, it worked right there. Now we're gonna add three stone pillars snapped to that going up the middle. Once you have that done, we're gonna go ahead here to the very top and we're gonna add five triangle ceilings going across the top right here. And then with that done, we're just gonna fill in the remaining space that we have left with stone stairs coming down from those ceilings. Next, we're gonna come over here to the side and we're gonna add stone railings going up the side of our stairs and also along the top back part of our build. Then we'll bring them down this side of the stairs as well. And then we'll go ahead and add more stone railings on each of these inlines between our stairs. So two right here and also two right here. 
And so that'll make up the roof going over top of that. Now we're just gonna go back in here and on this side, we're gonna add two stone railings right here. We'll add one on the front right here and right here. And then we'll add two more right here. And then we're just gonna go around and we're gonna duplicate this roof that we've created on the top of our build here on all three of our other towers. So go ahead around and do that on the other three. All right, so now we basically have these towers completely done. We just need to do one more thing real quick here on the inside. So we're gonna head in here and right above where we have our ladder, we're just gonna fill this space right here in with two high stone walls. So go ahead to the other three towers and fill that in on those as well. All right, so now that we have those towers complete, we're next gonna start building up our outside walls. So first we're gonna start with working on our two shorter walls. So first this one right here, we're gonna head into this corner and place a wooden fence foundation down on this triangle foundation. And then we'll go ahead and snap a stone dinosaur gate frame to that. We'll come right here to this triangle foundation and again place a fence foundation on top and then a gate frame on top of that. Then we'll come to this corner and do the same thing right here on this foundation. And we'll again do the same thing on this foundation right here. Then on this middle foundation where we have this gap, we're going to place another fence foundation down. And we're going to snap a dinosaur gate frame on each side of that. So one right here, and then one right here like so. And that'll give us something that looks like this. Then we're just going to go ahead and fill this entire wall in with four high stone walls. All right, so there you go. We have this wall complete. Now we're gonna go ahead to the other side of our arena, to that other short wall, and we're gonna do the same thing we just did on this side as well. All right, so now we're gonna come back in here on this wall to this kind of medium gap that we have between our gate frames. So you can see we have the large gap over here, the medium one right here, and then the small ones next to it. So we're gonna come in front of this medium one and add a thatch ceiling down in front of it. And then we're gonna get out a stone railing and place it. We need to rotate the snap point so we're placing it on the thatch ceiling like this, and then flip it like this. So go ahead and place that down, and we're gonna add seven of these in total to get us up to the top of our gate frame. So just keep stacking these up until you reach the gate frame right here and then go ahead and pick up your thatch ceiling. And then we're going to come over to the other side to this medium gap right here as well and do the same exact thing right here. So remember, rotate through the snap points and then flip it and go ahead and build them seven high. And then just go ahead and pick up this thatch ceiling and this is basically just going to add some more detail and texture to our wall just to kind of give it a little bit more character. So we're gonna go ahead to the other side of our arena and do the same thing on this wall over here in those same spots. Next, we're gonna come back in here on top of these walls and we're gonna add two more stone walls on top, followed by a stone door frame, and then finally a stone railing on top of that. So go ahead and do that on top of each of these walls. And then with that complete, we're just gonna go ahead to the other side of the arena and again, do the same thing we just did on the other side. Now on the inside of this wall, we're gonna start off by placing two high stone walls on top of each of these foundations.
Then on top of each of those stone walls, we're gonna place two high flipped wooden walls. And then on top of those, we're gonna add two more stone walls flipped back around. So we should have something that looks like this. So go ahead to the other side of the arena and do the same thing over here. All right, so now we're gonna build up our walkway here in front of this wall. So first over here in this corner, we're gonna start off with a wooden triangle ceiling right here in the corner. And then we're just gonna continue to place these until we reach the corner on the opposite tower. Once you've placed that one right there, we're gonna go ahead back in right here to this corner. And we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on top of the ceiling. And then on this side right here, we're gonna snap two wooden pillars on top and two stone pillars below. Now the stone pillars can be a little finicky snapping, so you might have to snap one, place another one, and then pick this one up. And it should allow you, there we go, to place them like we want them. Now we're gonna count two ceilings over, so one, two, and then on this third one, we're gonna place another fence foundation, and again, two wooden pillars on each side of that, and two stone pillars below each side. Now we'll go to the corner over here and we'll place another fence foundation on this ceiling. And again, we'll place two wooden pillars on top and two stone pillars down below. If it'll let us snap this one, we might have to drop down and do this. It can be a little finicky placing these pillars below. There we go, we have it right there. So add two more down below. Now, once you have those placed, we're gonna go up here to our stone walls. And one high on the stone walls, we're going to place a stone stair coming down above the pillar. We'll also place one right here filling in the corner. And we'll just continue taking these across all the way to our other tower. Then once you have those placed, we're going to go back down here to our triangle ceilings. And we're going to place a wooden railing on each of these ceilings from this tower all the way across to the other tower. So there we go, that completes our walkway on this wall. So now let's go over to this wall and just duplicate everything we just did over here. All right, so now we're gonna come up to the top here and we're gonna go right below where we have these stone door frames and we're gonna fill in this space right here with stone triangle ceilings. Next, we're gonna get out a wooden fence foundation and we're gonna snap it to one of these triangle ceilings. Now this can be a little finicky trying to get this to snap. Sometimes it doesn't wanna place it the way you're trying to place it. If you're having issues, just try it on multiple ceilings. And if it's still not working, try going to the other side and coming at it from different angles until you get it to work. So we'll try it. I think it should work from this side. So there we go, we got it, finally got it to place. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to either side of that and we're gonna place a stone pillar attached to it right here. And then we're gonna add two more stone pillars coming down from the bottom of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this on the other side of it as well. And now the way this should work is you should be able to just continue placing stone pillars like so. They should be kind of snapping to each other. So we'll place two more coming down from that one. If for some reason it's not allowing you to do this, just continue to use the wooden fence foundations to get these snap points but you should be able to just snap them from pillar to pillar. So anyways, we're gonna continue across this wall and between every one of our door frames, we're going to snap three pillars going down.
All right, so now that we have this complete on this side, we're gonna go over to the other side and again, just duplicate what we just did. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our longer walls. So we're gonna start off here on this corner on this triangle foundation. We're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on top and add a gate frame on top of that. Then we'll do that again right here on this foundation as well. We'll do it right here on this foundation and we'll do it right here on this foundation. Then we're gonna head over to the other side and do the same thing. So starting off on the corner again, we'll place one right here and a gate frame on top. Do it again right here on this foundation, right here on this one, and again right here on this one. Now we have this gap here in the middle. So first we're gonna start off by placing another fence foundation right here with a gate frame on top, and do that again right here so that they kind of overlap here in the middle. Now we're just gonna add a few more in here to give us a little bit more detail. So first right here, we're gonna add one in between these two like that, and we'll do that again right here. So there we go, we have something that looks like that. Now we're gonna head over to the other side and do the same thing over here. So first placing one right here and place another one right here. So that'll give us something that looks like this for the details on this wall. So now we're just gonna go ahead and fill in this wall with four high stone walls on each foundation. So there we go. Now we can just go ahead to the other long wall on the other side of the arena and do the exact same thing, duplicating everything we just did over here. Now, just like we did on our short walls, we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna add two high stone walls on top of these, followed by a stone door frame and a stone railing. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this all the way down this wall and on our other long wall on the other side. Next, we're again gonna use our thatch ceilings and our stone railings in front of all of our medium-sized gaps. So any medium-sized gap on this wall, we have one right here. We're gonna place a thatch ceiling down in front of it, get out a stone railing and rotate the snap point and then flip it so that we have it placing like this and go ahead and build these up seven high in front of these walls until you reach the gate frame above. Then go ahead and pick up your thatch ceiling again and we're going to go ahead and like i said we're going to do this in front of all of the medium gaps so we have two more right here so we'll place two thatch ceilings and do the same thing right here then 
Then we have two more right here. So place the thatch ceilings and do the same thing right here. And then we'll just go ahead and do this one more time right here. So as you can see, just like on our short walls, this just basically adds a little bit of detail and texture to our wall just to break it up a little bit and give it a little more character. So now we're gonna head over to our other long wall over here and do the same thing in the same spots. All right, so now on the inside of these walls, we're gonna go ahead and first, we're gonna place two high stone walls on each of these foundations all the way across. Then on top of those, we will again go ahead and place two high flipped wooden walls going all the way back across. And then on top of those, we will go ahead and again place two high stone walls flipped back around going all the way across again. And then again, once you have this done, we're just gonna go ahead to our other long wall on the other side and duplicate this process. All right, now we need to do one thing before we create our walkway. So in here on this corner where we have this gap, we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden fence foundation down here on this foundation. And then we're gonna snap two stone pillars to that, followed by two wooden pillars, just to kind of fill in where we have that gap. So go ahead on all four corners and do this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and build up the walkway on our larger walls. So first here in the corner, we're gonna add a wooden triangle ceiling right here in the corner. And then we're gonna place 15 wooden ceilings to get us to the other corner. Then we'll place another wooden triangle ceiling right here in the corner. Now on this first ceiling right here, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation. And on the edge of that, we're gonna snap two wooden pillars going up and two stone pillars going down. Now we're gonna count over two more ceilings. So one, two, and on this third one, we're gonna place another fence foundation right here. And on each side of that, we're gonna snap wooden pillars up and two stone pillars going down. Then we're gonna count three ceilings over. So one, two, three, and on the fourth one, we're gonna place another fence foundation And then again, we'll place two wooden pillars on each side going up and two stone pillars going down. Then we will again count three ceilings over. So one, two, three, and on the fourth one again, we will place another fence foundation here. And again, two wooden pillars going up on each side and two stone pillars going down on each side. And then we'll go ahead to this last ceiling here on our corner and we're gonna place a fence foundation on top and then two wooden pillars going up and two stone pillars going down. 
So now we're just going to go ahead to the other side on the other long wall and we're just going to duplicate what we just did with those ceilings and pillars. Now with all of those placed, we're going to go back up to our stone walls and on the one high wall, we're going to add stone stairs coming down. We'll fill in this corner here and then take them all the way across to the other side. Then you can go ahead to the other wall and do the exact same thing over there. Then with those stairs placed, we're going to go back down to our ceilings and place wooden railings across each ceiling, all the way across this walkway and the walkway on the other side. All right, now for the last part of these walls, we're gonna come in here to this corner and we're gonna fill this in with three triangle stone ceilings. Then we're gonna take regular stone ceilings all the way across until we reach the other bend, which we will then fill in with another three triangle stone ceilings. Then we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on this triangle ceiling right here. And again, you may have to work around, go to the outside and find the right angle for this to allow you to place it. So there we go, we'll place it right there. Now right here on this snap point, we're gonna add three stone pillars going down. And we're gonna do that on the corner right here as well. Then we're going to go ahead and skip one and place another wooden fence foundation right here and add three stone pillars going down on each side of that. And then once you get these placed, we're just going to do exactly like we did on the short sides. It should allow you to just snap pillars going across without using fence foundations. So just continue between each of our door frames, adding three stone pillars going down. And then once you reach this corner here, we again need to place a fence foundation right here. If it'll allow us to place it, there we go. And we'll go ahead and again snap three stone pillars going down on each side of that fence foundation. And if it's not allowing you to place these pillars, these pillars can be very finicky with allowing you to place them. So we're just going to try to place them right here and see if that will allow us to snap them. And if it's still not allowing us to do that, Unfortunately, we're going to have to probably destroy these ones right here. So we'll just demolish this real quick and then it should allow us to place these ones. So there you can see we can place those ones and then we'll just replace these ones really quick. It's not ideal, but you know, arc is arc and unfortunately stuff like that does happen. So now we're going to go to the other side and we're going to duplicate what we did here on this long side on our other long side as well.
Now we're going to come in here to the center of our arena and on one of our long walls, we're going to go into the middle where we have these two pillars and place a thatch foundation. Then add four more sticking off of that. Then on the end, we're going to add a stone foundation sticking off of those and add two more on each side to give us five total. And then just place three more rows of five stone foundations along those. Then go ahead and either pick up or destroy those thatch foundations. And then once you're done with that, we're going to go to each corner of this stone platform that we've created. And we're going to place a wooden fence foundation right here on the corner and then add a stone pillar on top of that fence foundation. So go ahead and do that on the other three corners real quick. And then we will go ahead and surround this entire platform with stone stairs. Now continuing on the inside here, we're going to come in front of each of our gates and add stone stairs. Now we're not going to add railings to these because we don't want people getting caught on them. So just go ahead and do this on all of these on the inside and also all of these on the outside. All right, so now on the outside of whichever side of the arena is going to be our entrance, which would be the side that we have those door frames as openings, we're gonna go ahead and build up some stairs. So underneath these door frames, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone triangle foundation, followed by two normal foundations attached to that. Then just go ahead and place two high stone walls right here on the triangle foundation, and then add a stone triangle ceiling on top of those. Next, we'll place a stone wall and the appropriate sloped stone wall right here, and then just the sloped stone wall right here, and then we'll fill this in with stone stairs coming down from the ceiling. And then we will just place a wooden railing up here on the ceiling and two wooden railings going up our stairs. Now we're going to head over to the other side where we have the gap with the doors over here and do the same thing. All right, so now between those stairs, we're going to add a row of five stone foundations connecting those stairs, and then we'll add three more rows of five coming off of that. Then we will go ahead and on this corner right here, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation, and this time we're going to snap two high stone pillars to the edge of that. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this corner. So fence foundation and two stone pillars. And then we will again just go around this platform and add stone stairs on all three sides. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some decorations. I'm going to apply some paint. So stick around for one second, guys, and I will show you what I come up with. All right, guys, so like I said, I've applied the paint scheme and added some decoration. So first out here on the outside for the paint scheme, as you can see, I've painted all of our stone walls and foundations and whatnot with the slate color just to kind of make them a nice dark gray color. And then I've gone ahead and painted the pillars, the gate frames, um, the stairs, this kind of slab that we have out here, the pillars that are on it, and also the slab that we have in the center and all of our ceilings. Basically, all of our other stone I have painted with the white color just to kind of make them pop a little bit more. Now, it's not really necessary. It doesn't make them pop that much more. So if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. I just went ahead and did it anyways, though. But if we head inside here, I've done one other thing for the paint. So here on these inside walls for the wooden walls, I have painted those with the tan color except for zone five, which is those stripes I've painted with the mud color. So and then also I've painted these wooden ceilings all with the mud color and also the pillars with the mud color. And then I've left the railings alone. 
So that does it for the paint. I've only used those three colors throughout the build just to kind of add a little bit of contrast to the walls and whatnot. Again, for the slab, I painted it white, but it, you can't really tell. As far as decorations go, I've just added some torches here around the slab. Then on these top areas, I've kind of turned these into like, you know, VIP seating. So we have our seat up here and we've decked it out with some T-Rex skulls and some flags and just a little bit of storage. I've added some crops up on the top of our towers just to kind of give a little bit more color to the top of them. Then if we go ahead and head inside here to the bottom, we'll open up this gate. Inside the bottom down here, the bottom part is supposed to be kind of like your prep area before the battle. So I've added some dummies and some storage to keep weapons and whatnot. And then the top part is kind of like a common area for the people that are here watching the fight to come hang out in between fights. So if we're out here kind of viewing the fight, spectating, and then we're waiting for the next fight, we can go in here and just kind of hang out and mingle with everybody else that's here. And then if we head back out front, you've probably already seen this when we started off, but on the front here, I've added a few crops just around our slab out here. I've also added some T-Rex skulls and some flags just to kind of give the front of our build a little more character. And that pretty much does it for the decorating. All four of the towers are all basically decorated exactly the same. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. And guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which obviously helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other videos like the one you see on the screen now. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. And also guys, again, check out the description below for links to my social media accounts. And if you did build this on your arc, go ahead and hit me up on one of those platforms with pictures of this build on your arc. But anyways, guys, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.